I just partnered into a wine company. Um, I'm a 15% partner. My fiance is the other 15%. We have a 70% partner. It's, uh, I think you actually did them on Wine Library way back in the day. It's called David Family Wine. Okay. One with Michelle Reeves. Yeah. I don't know if you want to remember. I remember. So uh, it's been kind of, okay, they've been great bottle of wine, but the brand has kind of been dead for the past three years. Michelle lived in New York, moved over to the West Coast, um, and had two kids, and it went from doing, you know, $300,000 a year down to $80,000 a year. And, you know, I have a hospitality company. She wrote me in because we're doing events all over New York and New Jersey. And she's like, look, I think you'd be a great partner to help kind of reinvigorate it. Um, we're trying to figure out, like, what the next strategy is for the company. I tend to think it's a couple of different angles. Like, we have the idea of, obviously, like, distribution. We're in Gramercy Tavern. We're in 11th Madison Park, reinvigorating those sales. The other angle would be uh, obviously like the direct to consumer angle that we have to our website. And then I kind of have this crazy idea of like, well, why don't we just screw all of that stuff and go around it? And we'll, we, we do 500 cases a year. Why don't we just do a bunch of really cool events? And maybe the only way that you can get the wine is, you know, through these events. But I tend to think the Gary V answer might be all of them. <laughs> so I wanted to throw that out there and see what what you said you thought might be a really good idea. This show's eventually not gonna be fun because I'm super pissed that you took my answer. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I mean look, not well, sorry, you know it makes what? me it happy. Makes... It means that it means that people are hearing me, right? The answer is all of them, brother. Now look, the model of doing events that it's the only way to buy it would then eliminate the other two. I wouldn't go that hard. I would just still do events, but I would create as many, dif- too many times people don't understand that you need to create as many ways for people to buy as possible, right? They may discover it at a restaurant. They may walk into the wine library and buy it off the shelf. They may go to a party and taste it and then go buy it. Uh, you've gotta do direct to consumer branding on Instagram and Facebook for your direct to consumer channel directly from the winery because you get to keep 100% of the economics instead of sharing it with the retailer and the distributor. So there's a million ways to do it. It sounds like you're pretty grounded in it. I have a funny feeling above and beyond the answer I just gave you, you know the next answer which is it's just patience. It sounds like you've got Absolutely. grounded, like just a matter of time, and you've got to think about the details. I think one of the great things that my partners here on this episode have done is they talk about the nuances. Here's a nuance. Be smarter about how you guys and what you put on the label of the wine. Is your social handles on the back of the label, right? Can you induce people to share it by doing a hashtag on the back of the label? So it's some of these nuances as well, but it sounds like you've got the religion down, which excites me around the strategy. Hey man, listen, you're, you're kind of... Hello? Oh, he was about to say something really cool about me. I'm upset. <laughs>